Welcome everyone to Finding Life. My name is Jeff and we're here to help you find life, enjoy life, and win in life. We are in episode 124 and the title of today's um, training is To Reign in Life. Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 1 in the Passion Translation says this, Here are kingdom revelations, words to live by, and word, words of wisdom given to empower you to reign in life, written as Proverbs by Israel's King Solomon, David's son. So here are kingdom revelations. The, the book of Proverbs is set up, um, as we can see here, and I like the Passion Translation here, here are kingdom revelations. These are revelations. These are insight, kingdom insights. The book of Proverbs is filled with kingdom insights, how the kingdom functions and operates. Kingdom revelations, designed for what? Words to live by. Words to live by. Words that will empower us to live, to live by. The words that we can, we can take hold of, um, wisdom that's imparted to us, uh, words that we can actually then begin to act and respond and lean into and apply to our lives daily, coming and going. Words of wisdom given to empower you to reign in life. His words. These words are given to empower us, to enable us. Enable us to what? Empower us to what? To reign in life. To reign in life. To reign in life. So that's what I want to talk about today is reigning in life. And so we see in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, Genesis 1, 28, um, it says, And God blessed them, and God said, Be fruitful, multiply, which means increase. Fill up the earth or fulfill. Fill up the earth or fulfill. Um, be fruitful. Multiply. Fill up the earth. Subdue and have dominion. Subdue and have dominion. We can see here it's God's plan, His design, His, His desire. The way it's been set up is that we are to subdue and have dominion. We're to be fruitful or to multiply or to increase or to fill up. We are to subdue. We are to have dominion. We are to reign in life. Romans chapter 5, verse 17 says this, um, that those who receive the abundance of grace and the free, the Amplified Bible says, the free gift of righteousness shall reign in life, reign as kings in life through one Jesus Christ. So this is one of the uh, exciting things about being a believer, about belie believing in Jesus, about putting our faith and trust and confidence in the Word of God, is that He has assigned and called us to reign in life as kings through one Jesus Christ. And then Romans, or not Romans, um, Psalm 8, verses 3 to 6 says this. Psalm 8, verses 3 to 6 says this. Um, and, uh, um, you know, one of the angels is born walk, watching God, and, and he responds. I think um, I, I think actually Hebrews uh, is recorded that the angel then responds to God, but he says this: When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers or the work of your hands, the moon, the stars which you have ordained, he goes, "What? What is man that you are mindful of him? Right? And the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels." Now, that word um, in the Hebrew is actually Elohim, the same word that's used in Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning God, in the beginning Elohim. All of Genesis chapter 1 is basically every, every, time, every time the word God is used, it's Elohim, Elohim. Elohim is plural for God, meaning Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than Elohim, than God, and you have crowned him with glory and honor, Verse 6, you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, and you have put all things under his feet. And so we see here that we have been made in the image and the likeness of God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, we've been made in his image and in his likeness to what? To have dominion, to have dominion, to have dominion. You have made him a little, uh, a little lower than yourself and have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, and have put all things under his feet. Hallelujah. We are to reign in life. How do we do that? 
through and because of Jesus. It's not because of us. It's through and because of Jesus. It's by his word. We rule and reign in life. We have dominion um, because of Jesus and by or through his word. It's by the Holy Spirit uncovering kingdom of God truths and ways to operate, right? Ways of operating. How how does the kingdom function and operate? Well, the Holy Spirit will uncover and, and teach us through his word. And then the Holy Spirit, he will empower us. We, there is an empowerment by the Spirit of the living God. The Bible says you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And so in order for us to function and operate in this, it's very important. Uh, I guess one of the number one truths is that we are to be filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in other tongues. That puts us in a place where we can begin to tap into and receive and um, experience what we just talked about today, learning how to and how to learning how to reign in life and uh, and then doing it. The confidence, the boldness, the, the assurance and the wisdom to reign in life. And so anyways, we will talk to you next time.